Japanese cars, then Japanese electronics, and now a musical craze that started in Japan has a lot of Americans going to the mic. It's called karaoke, and all it requires is a song in your heart and the nerve to sing it in front of a lot of people. Karaoke takes singers out of the shower and throws them right into the limelight. Karaoke is a high-tech sing-along. Videos provide background music while performers follow lyrics on a screen. It's become a national craze, and everyone from college students <laughs> to housewives are getting in on the act. Karaoke definitely has its appeal for those brave enough to hit the stage and belt out the tunes. It's something that I've always wanted to do, and this makes it very easy because um, the background music is already there, and all I have to do is uh, read the words off the screen and try to sing in key. The spotlight's on you, and for a lovely three minutes, you are everybody. And karaoke is so hot, there are even TV shows featuring the event. Bobby Locke, host of the show Karaoke America, says he knows why the fever has caught on. Karaoke makes you feel good. I mean, it, it brings out the best in people. You know, it makes the ordinary working man feel like uh, Elton John. The show tapes performances in karaoke clubs all over America, and then viewers call in and vote for their favorite performer. But talent is not always the name of the game. Doctor, doctor, give me the news. I got a bad case of loving you. That's great if things sing good. And if they sing horrible, that's great, too. That's, that's life. life. That's, that's what all life. you people should say. I'm a Sinatra imitator, you might say. I got a telegram from him the other day. It said, but I'm not worried, so uh, I guess we're safe. John Bauman is the host of another show, Karaoke Showcase. On this series, contestants compete for the title of Karaoke Performer of the Year. There's a thing called karaokeaholics right now that is starting to get serious. There are some people who do this seven days a week, and they, they have to go to Karaoke Anonymous, you know, to get out of it. Now, you might recognize John Bauman from one of his previous acts. He was Bowser in the 50s doo-wop revival group, Sha-Na-Na. I actually recognize the woman with a record on her hat. <laughs>